Welcome back. It's a little sad that these are not the really the best of times for Nigerian children as the country grapples with the recent abduction of over 200 plus schoolgirls from a government girls' secondary school, Chibok, in Borno State. This kidnapping of schoolgirls has further exposed the vulnerability of Nigerian children as we face a child vulnerability crisis of potentially catastrophic proportions. As the world celebrates Children's Day today, is there any justifications for such celebration in Nigeria, considering the girls in captivity? It's your view. You can let it count. Please call us on 70 or tweet to us at Your View TVC. We'd like to read from you. Like okay, let's start from you. Um, a, a couple of states have cancelled ch Children's Day. That's Anambra State and Borno State. Borno. Borno State, you know. Yeah. And it's understandable because of these children. But while we are at it, I don't want us to forget the ones that were murdered in hmm. two Yobi. weeks before that. In Yobi. In Yobi. Yeah. And you know, abducted. 25 of them were also were, abducted. Uh, were abducted on that uh, occasion as well. Yeah. And about 58 boys were killed, slaughtered. Yeah. Hmm. You know, these were children. Yeah. Hmm. And their parents are still mourning. And, you know, I, while I feel for the parents of the Chibok girls, we must never forget All the, the ones. previous Yes. Ones. Yes. It seems like I, we're focused on the Chibok one and all the previous ones, no one made any noise. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's, it's very painful for me. And because I'm a mother as well, I just feel, you know, for the parents and the children. The, the, I mean, those poor girls, they're away from their parents. Mm. They want to, uh, from the reports we read, they are even saying they want to come home. Even though the Boko Haram people are looking after them. They, they, don't, they don't want to be there. Of course. Yeah. Who wants to they're be there? They're being held as... against their will. Yeah. yeah. And you who know? knows what they're using them for, you know. Mm. Um, the Nigerian situation over the years is actually disheartening because my father told me stories of how he, from his village um, church, Anglican Primary School, got a scholarship to King's College, got into University of Lagos, and then got another scholarship to go to London School of Economics. So he believed a lot in the government and will always say to us, read your books. The government will sponsor you. Once you're educated, you will get mm. this, you will get that. Mm. By the time I was in secondary school, YK, my brother was already in the university, and I knew that T wasn't running from the taps anymore in the University of Lagos. Mm. Things had changed. It was even still good then. What we see now, mm. um, Ua was saying that you, you, it's hard to find secondary schools that do YEC anymore in Nigeria. Can you imagine? They do foreign exams for everyone to run off. What are your thoughts, Ua? It, it's really sad, but you see, I wouldn't say 100% that it's not worth celebrating. Because, you see, outside the girls that are being kidnapped, there are a lot of children that are living, that are going through even worse, I mean, worse situation than the ones that are being kidnapped. Because hmm. the Bible says in everything we should give thanks. So I think it's worth celebrating. But, you see, maybe you celebrate it in a way like we, um, the, the two young children that came in and they sang a song. It can bring, if by chance any of those girls are listening or even the parents, of course it will bring some form of comfort to them to know that we still care about them and, and we love them. You see, this is where, whenever I talk about government, government, people will keep saying that Uwa is against government, she's against government. The future of any nation mm. is in, when a woman is pregnant, mm. she's hopeful that something good will come out. Mm. And you not have a child, the future of any nation is mm. with the newer generation. Mm. You know, and if you, you continue to see our educationals, everything that has to do with the growth and the progress of our children, mm. everything. I don't see any way, because my friend was looking for a school, secondary school for her child. All the schools that she has gotten so far, they're not writing WAEC. Mm. You know, everybody, like you said, everybody, are, they're going abroad. The future of every child, uh, every nation is in the children. And if educational system is not working, the, the healthcare system is not working, we don't see all these things happening. Okay, How can we grow as a nation? Let's take a phone call. Um, Ogun State is today organizing a day of prayer for the children, led by the children themselves. But we have a phone call. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Oyeka, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Um, I want to hear my view. I like your program. But the thing there is that all hope is lost in Nigeria as mm. far as schooling is concerned. Mm. In Lagos, it's better. 
But when you travel to the neighboring states, you find out that what they are organizing there is special centers where they help people to pass their exams. Hmm. When you go and see what is happening to the Nigerian child all around us, it's very, very appalling that you ask yourself, where are we going in Nigeria? Hmm. The thing there is that the mothers, the commissioners, every other person is concerned about how to be successful on paper, not how to give us the, the Nigerian child something to look forward and be proud of. You mm. see somebody who has a university degree, but he can't defend it. Mm. Well, how people who have uh, um, two one from reputable universities, but they are afraid to come out to look for jobs. Nigerian child's future is very, very appalling. Sorry to put it that way, but that is how I see it. Thank you and very much. Thank you, Onyeka. Um, it's tales of doom and gloom everywhere. What's the hope for you, the Nigerian child? You know, um, Onyeka, he's, he's reflecting my, our thoughts. Mm. You know, he's, 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 what, he, what he's saying is reflecting what we are thinking. Mm. Maybe not saying, but thinking. Because, you know, when you think of even the schools. Ah, mm. okay. when, when I was in school, okay, um, the primary schools were private, but the secondary schools were well, government were government schools. were paying 10 naira. Hmm. My school knew were paying 10 naira per I still term. paid 19 naira in University of Lagos. Can you imagine? Th that's even university level. We are talking about secondary school level. Now, school fees, 100 and something, 250,000. You are talking million. about 4 million. No, can you imagine? School, 4 million entry. Hmm. Can entry you imagine? Entry to boarding house. You see, the cost of education, I don't even see when when I'm talking eh, my heart is so heavy because I see when I see children you see so many they don't they don't care they don't believe in impossibilities as a child they are playing their heart is playing hmm. are you as a you you you're seeing this child and you're now using your hands and you see why I'm so upset and why I'm angry with this particular government because this is the first president that you we heard that has a is a professor I would have expected more I don't care about any other sector, but in the educational sector, I would have expected more from him. Okay, let's hear from Nima. Okay. It's sad because of the many rights that children have, the right to education is one right that you just cannot, you know, throw away or it's deny It's basic. Them. It is basic. The right to protection hmm. is also basic. Hmm. To, 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 you know, nurture them, to protect them. Right and to educate life. them. And then to, for, for a group of people to get up and say, we don't want these children to be educated, and in order to discourage that they have these rights, they, they abduct them, you know, they, they, kill, they them. kill them. It's sad. Mm. I, don't, um, I don't even want to think, when I was reading for today's um, topic, I was, so, I was just, you know, discouraged completely. Okay, let's I didn't take attend our next. A, a, a private primary school. I went to a public primary school. I had free books. At some point, we know we had books. We free books. Okay. Free we books have, back then. My, school. That, that's we have a phone call. I'm much we'll older come, than you. We'll come back to you, <laughs> YK. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Alaji Rashid Good morning, Alaji Rashid. Thank you for joining my us. Need to, my, my need to contribution this morning to what people are saying, I'm really interested, is that is it possible for the poor now to send their shoes to the higher institution now? That's my question. Hmm. It's just necessarily Nigeria and Lagos State uh, University. And people have been complaining to the government itself. And I don't really think it's really attending to win the market. Mm. So what can we do? Because we have a lot of children now graduating from the secondary school. And admission itself, when they got the admission, then this group is will be another problem for them. Mm. So what can we do? We are the poor now. So what can we do, please? That's my question. I want to say Thank in defense of Lagos State government, mm -hmm. I heard um, Fa um, Governor Fashola, when he was on the on this morning show, and he, he spoke about that last week. Because week. people are overdragging it. Even me, at first, I was saying, how can they transfer school fees of twenty five thousand naira to three hundred and something thousand? And he has said it. If you have gone there and you have applied for that scholarship and they've turned you down, then you can come out and say these are the documents I have applied. He said it that there's nobody that they have turned down so far. 
they should stop uh, flogging things. The truth is that this, if the educational system, do you know how much people pay abroad to take their children abroad? If the, if the schools they don't have enough facilities, they will not have good lecturers. Well, don't you don't understand? So let's no, 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 no. I'm just saying in defense no, no, no. of no, no, don't talk about last one. Let's not stop over flogging that issue. No, 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 no. I know I'm not over flogging it. I paid I paid fourteen thousand naira in my first year. In my while I was still in school, it was increased to twenty five thousand. Now that is 200 and 350,000 for special courses for medicine and law, go to the faculties and see how many children, how many students they are admitting in a year. Have you gone to see all now, the Now they that hardly is... have in the full, in the whole university, up to 750 students as, uh, uh, admitted in a, in, That's in a year. That's not the point. Okay, That's we have a point. phone call. We no, have a phone call. That means people are not getting educated. And then we'll come to YK. YK, don't forget your thoughts. I need to George, good morning. Uh, good morning, to and the crew. Thank you for joining us. This, uh, this is why, you see, I'm one of those that is very bitter about this uh, cheap of school girls, the way the government handled it. You see, if you don't put value on education, you will never make progress in any country, like who I said, mm -hmm. because it's the foundation of every growth. If the way we handle children is the way the nation will become. That's it. What has happened now is that there is a group that is trying to truncate the generational progress. Mm. And where the, the government of the day is handling it with levity. By first of all, denying that it does not exist in the first place. And after all the pressures, they are now trying to do one thing or the other to show that we are doing. But in, in actual fact, I don't see anything that is being done. Mm. We must place value. Look. You know, in this, in this creation, many people do not know the value of one woman is equivalent to that of 100 men put together. That's mm. true. So if you truncate the progress of one woman, you are truncating the progress of 100 men. Mm. True. If this happens in 10 years, do you know where we will be? So let us begin to cultivate the habit of imbibing education for the youth. Thank you, George. We totally agree with you. Um, why can yeah. you are going to yeah. ask a question? No, because you said they were, you were talking about scholarship. So those who are who don't get scholarship will pay. You're not getting the point, YK. He what has is said the point? They, listen, let us hold them accountable for what they have said. Mm. He has come out to say that go and apply for scholarships. And so far they have not turned anybody down. So let us, you know, let us I'm, I'm a bit, you understand. I'm a bit, I'm a bit in between. Yeah, because, because, because I was totally against it uh, that why would they increase the school fees? But when I listened to what he said, so now before making um, 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 different statements. statements, let me go there, carry my child, write exam and apply and let me see if they will not give me. Then I cannot come out and say that YK. Okay, if hold hold YK. Pass, okay. YK. the scholarship, because then there must be a, 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 a benchmark. Yes. What Ua doesn't know is that. In that same university, there was a time when they were giving scholarships to indigents. If you are not an indigent, you are not entitled, whether you are merit. Okay, let, let, me, let me throw a question to us. Are we saying, because we know that university education everywhere in the world is expensive, are we mm -hmm. saying that every arm of government, federal, states, and maybe even local governments, should whatever monies that they're making from every other sector of the economy, should focus on education and make it free? Is that what we're saying? Because if they're saying we are unable to fund education without you paying some things, you know, and we're complaining that a uh, state university is the hope of the poor, blah, blah, blah. Are we saying then as a people, uh, tax us as much as you want, but make, make education free for our children? Don't make it free. Make it subsidized. It has never been free. We education is free in some places. I paid. Uh, for, for, you know, it has never for, been free. Especially for federal primary go level. Federal government you was know? even free for you me. It was 99. So we should, we, see, uh, uh, Nima. Let us not take away the focus. The ones that are doing something, let us commend them. If you go and scout for schools now, you will know that it's not an easy thing for you to actually run a school and build a proper standard school. How much do you think people pay abroad when they take their children abroad to go and school? Okay, we, we can have a phone. Um, we we cannot no, afford no, 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 no. Wait, we just want please don't get things mixed up. Don't get it because in England. Okay, okay, we have a phone call. We have a phone call. Let's take a phone call. We Take should remember focus. to focus on children, though. It's Children's Day. Um, good morning. Thank you for calling us, Udogu. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Uzo. Uzo. Hello. Morning, sir. We can hear you. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. Well, first I would say that my heart goes to the parents of the children that were abducted Chibo. And much more, there were children that were abducted before Chibo. Thank and you. And those students that were murdered 
in a polytechnic in Moody. Thank you. And the other ones in some different schools in Purino State. We must uh, appreciate the best the, uh, parents who, who will be passing through today, where mm. other people's children will be marching in different states and all that. Uh, I will say that uh, Nigerian, uh, Nigerian people must try to protect when crises come up. Not because now we are shouting Chibok death. But when this crisis started and they were killing children and all that in schools, so everybody kept quiet. Yeah, true. Or well, they got to abduction. And that's my problem. If mm -hmm. we are protected from the one when this bombing started in Suleja and Madela churches and all that, we won't get to where we are today. Yeah. Yeah. We try to indulge crisis until he, mm -hmm. he gets to everybody and we're all fighting. We're all fighting today in Lagos because we're seeing possibility of this crisis spreading everywhere. And that's why we're, we're not crying because we love Chibok guys more than their parents. Mm. We were crying today in Lagos and people are jumping about because the reality of the crisis spreading is, uh, is closer to everybody. Okay. I will say that we must stop indulging injustice when it is meted to one Igbo man or one Yoruba woman okay. or because <laughs> what goes around, they say, ultimately come around. Thank you very much, Uzo. Thank you. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll continue with this discussion. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.